So, welcome back to our EBC Brakes Tech Talk series. I'm down here in Bristol today at our friction factory and I'm here with Steve Payne, our research and development manager. So, we're gonna be looking at our motorcycle, scooter, ATV, UTV, or if you're watching in the States, side-by-side -side brake pads. So, let's get into this. So, today we are gonna be talking about a few of the available options that we have for UTVs, or if you live in the States, side-by-sides. So, Steve, could you tell us a little bit about these pads? Sure, we've got uh, the SXR pad here, as you say, aimed at UTVs, side-by-sides, and the, um, the very heavy-duty SV range, which is probably the longest-lasting pad we do. Okay, and what are these specifically designed for? Uh, they're designed for off-road, 4x4s, UTVs, ATVs, side-by-sides, um, out in the mud and the, the mud and the wet and the dust. Uh, so... If someone was to install either one of these two pads, would they get any sort of improvement in pedal or lever feel? Yeah, there is a good high friction level for these pads, so you're going to feel a very positive brake. Okay, and I'm, I'm guessing from the name that these are not road legal. No, they're not. They're, uh, they're engineered to be, to be used off-road in, in, the, in the muck and the mud and the dirt. Okay, and is it imperative that I use new EBC rotors with these, or can I use my original rotors? No, they'll work on the original rotors. I mean, we'd always recommend EBC rotors, um, but these it's not, not a necessity to replace the rotors. Okay, and with these being a sintered compound, is it important to upgrade to braided lines or a higher temp brake fluid? Uh, again, it's not essential. Uh, you might get a benefit from doing that, but it's not an essential thing to do. Okay, and what goes into manufacturing these pads? Well, as in the name, they're sintered, which is, uh, which is the production process. It's a very high temperature process, which literally fuses the metallic particles together, so it's, uh, it's an extremely stable uh, material. So, Steve, will these pads hold up to race conditions? Yeah, absolutely. They, these are uh, very suitable for race use. Okay, and what is the best way to bed these in? Well, generally we'd say run them for two, 300 miles um, without too much harsh use. Um, best thing to do for the detail is to check the website. Thank you very much, Steve. And as always, if you'd like to find out any more information about these pads, don't forget to hit the link in the description. That is it for these episodes based around motorcycle, scooter and side-by-side -side pads. Keep an eye out on the channel for the next instalments in this Tech Talk series. If you've got any more ideas about what you'd like us to answer or anything you'd like us to do, put it in the comments and we'll try and get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you for watching.